guys, I am really excited to be here to share a uh, special tutorial. I don't usually do this, but um, circumstances have changed a little bit for me, and I am just so excited when I heard that Google is, um, or rather has launched a secret game on its um, sort of like search engine. Uh, it was announced on October 2nd that they have embedded a, a game called Text Adventure. Um, and uh, people can actually access it for free. It's um, it's a very, very rudimentary game and all it requires is for you to do certain things and you will be able to do it. Now, there are a few things that really sort of will come my attention and one is uh, it is a text-based adventure. Now, what does that mean? So, very simply, as a user, you are supposed to read a story, you are part of the story, and you are going on an adventure um, to look for missing items. Like any other adventure story, that is something you need to look out for, something that you require, something that you need. And the difference is that instead of being like a human person, you are actually a letter. That's right. You are a letter, and of course, the magical letter you are is G, all right? And your objective is to find all the other letters so you can be reunited with your friends. And of course, the um, your letter friends are O, O, G, and L, E, all right? Of course, it's a Google game, so of course, everything has to go back to Google. Now, so how do we play this game? How do we play Text Adventure? Now, all you need to do now is to sort of like go on the Google website um, on the search engine using this full URL. Now, most people get here and the instructions are not very clear and some people are not very sure. So the first thing you're gonna do is that you actually gonna go to the text box and you are going to write Text Adventure. All right, Text Adventure right here, click on it. All right, and Google search and you'll be brought to this page and you see all the fun stuff, all the sort of titles um, related to text adventures, um, which by the way, um, this is a callback to um, adventure books where uh, it used to be all uh, the rage in the early 70s and 80s before video game consoles were a thing and people entertain themselves by sort of like reading these adventure books and picking the endings. So there's a lot of reading and there's a lot of sort of like um, finding things and people really could choose their own adventure. Um, of course, that quickly fell out of favor. Well, because um, I guess people like something are having more, um, uh, more gratuitous and more instantly sort of gratifying uh, payback that uh, video games allowed people to have. Anyway, so once you get to this page, um, here's the tricky part. Now you have to right click, all right? Right click um, on the actual sort of like web page, go down to inspect, okay? This is where the magic happens, all right? And there you go. You've been brought to this very um, sort of like, uh, I wouldn't say scary, but it's sort of like it has all kinds of unfamiliar coding they may not be familiar with. All right, if you ever wonder how it's like to live in the matrix, this is how it looks like. All right, everything is code, but do not be distracted by all of these. There's only one word you need to look out for, and that's the word console. Now, um, upon clicking console, you be uh, the first word you see is for the um, warning. All right, do not bother doing this. It's not. This is not for you. It is basically for um, people other than you. All right. What is of interest to you is this part right here. Would you like to play a game? All right. And two options: yes and no. Now, a lot of people will make the common mistake of typing on the sort of like actual sort of like a question. All right. But um, if, if you know any coding, you're supposed to actually type in the next line. All right. So all you have to do is click yes. All right and push enter and you get this thing all right um so here are the directions for the game all right so um your your instructions are to type single word commands no need to describe the, the subject for example grab an appeal should we just grab and use an appeal should we just use so basically these are some very basic you know, text um this is how the text universe works in this like adventure all right and this blue g right here all right is you okay and the story begins a strange tingle trickles down uh, trickles across the skin i'm sorry you feel lightheaded and sit down. Feeling better, you stand up again and notice your reflection in the window. 
you're still the same Blake, big blue G you've always been, and you can't help but smile. But wait, where are your friends? Red O, Yellow O, Blue G, Green L, and that always quirky Red E? You see a statue of a metal man peeking out of a building, a park just across the street. Puzzle exits north. Now, a lot of people get to this point here and they are confused because they don't really know what to do. So like, okay, this is a cool story, I like it. So now I'm a G now, but where do I go? Now, go back to this thing here where it says commands, all right? Commands, north, south, east, west, up, down, grab, y, inventory, use, help, exits, map, and friends. So you know that this is basically the setting. This is a character, that's a setting. Well, there you have the first two conventions of a story, your character and setting. Now, you need plot. Where are you going to go? All right, where is the character going? A character not in a state of motion, a character not having to do anything, all right, is basically just a letter. It just stays there, it's stagnant. This is a perfect analogy to how um, some characters are. They are just there on the page, you don't do anything much, you don't want anything much, all right? But here's the thing, right? Here's the plot, all right? You need to find your friends. You need to find Red O, Yellow O, Blue G, Green L, all right? And the quirky Red E, all right? So your adventure starts. So just punch in, North, all right? Enter. All right, and there you have the map. So this is a very, very sort of like um, basic map as you can see here, all right? Again, it requires as a text adventure, as the name suggests, there's a lot of reading, okay? So I cannot understand why someone would actually go on a text adventure and not read. To me, that is a strange, strange situation. It is like, um, I don't know, I, I, I maybe I'm rude to question someone's literacy, but you know, you should know what you're getting into and this is a text adventure. And so we will context. So the text tells us that uh, G is you. So we are right here, all right. So what does the, what does the dot stand for? The dot stands for a clear path, me, meaning this is a path that you can actually walk on. All right, and the, the, the strokes or the slashes or their walls, all right? So you can see sort of like um, a vertical wall right here and a diagonal wall right here, all right? And you have a wall to the side and you have a clear path, all right? And you have, um, plus is a door, all right? No, no doors here, all right? And alias is unsolved. So um, based on this um, symbol map, we probably, uh, only see like uh, doors and clear path. So if you know um, from the text alone, you can tell that the way to go is up north. Okay, so um, very quickly now, uh, you move north, a sidewalk circles around a palm tree. So basically this is uh, this is what, this is what the character, uh, your character G is seeing and you have two puzzle absence. And I'm sorry, I, I, I just, I jumped ahead. Um, you have to, this is a very important line of text, all right? You see a map on a bench, Grab, type grab to pick it up. All right, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna type G R A B. All right, all right, and there you go. Inventory, one map. Okay, so you get one map. Congratulations. So you pick up a map that will be very useful afterwards. But we still, we still need to get going. All right. So looking at this little map here, where do we get go? All right. Obviously, there's only one way, and that is up. So we type north again to tell our character to go up. Okay, and punch it in. All right, and there we go. Um, you get a more extended um, map of the situation right now. Okay, so it's this is this is this is you are leaving one setting and entering another setting. As you can see, there are a lot more uh, interesting uh, layouts. Already more walls, more possible paths. All right, you see north. You move north, and you see a large field of Googlers playing ultimate frisbee and dodgeball. A horde of lost nogglers, new googlers, surrounds you as you how to get around. Type use to give them your map to help them out. So here's a command again. Um, of course, there's going to be a lot of reading. All right, type use. All right, punch it in. All right, and here we go. All right, now we have a another clear path. All right, you give the map a horde of nogglers. They gratefully accept the map. No, now to know where to go immediately, you on your other hand feel a bit lost. And the exit appears towards the north. All right, as you see, all right, um, dots always represents possible paths. So you punch in north, and all right, 
Okay. Okay. So um, you move north. A park opens up all around you. A small waterfall showing a path towards the campus. All right. Possible exits. All right. West. All right. All right. And south. Okay. South will probably bring you back where you belong. Uh, where you just came before. And west will probably... Uh, bring to a new part of the map. All right. Um, I'm not gonna sort of like play the entire game for you. I think like, the whole point of this is to show you how to actually play this free game. All right. It is very simple. All right. And the reason this works is because it focuses on the idea of um, um, character, character motivation. All right. Um, setting. Okay, so and th so the three the, the three sort of like um, conventions of fiction are being used already, all right. And basically, um, for the the, the 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 reader, aka the player, now feels compelled because um, if every sort of like uh, command they punch in right here, all right, they move to a different part of the story and they move way closer to the goal of the game, all right. So um, please sort of like have fun. I hope this has been helpful to you guys at some point. Um, um, do go try it out, alright? I'm telling you, this game is addictive because um, it just opens up so many possibilities. And here is the kicker, alright? The, this, the, this, what you see right here, is actually a very, very simplified and rudimentary map of the actual Google campus. So the programmers actually have a blueprint or a map of the entire campus, and they reduce the physical aspects of the actual Google headquarters into a series of dots, dashes, and arrows, all right? So by um, this game is also in a way to show you the expanse of Google, the Google campus and using a very, very fun text adventure um, uh, medium to sort of show you guys around. So is that it's like we can just go and explore a campus um, uh, even though uh, we're not actually there. But anyway, but game's all about Trans, um, transporting people anyway so um that's for me from now so hope you guys enjoy the game all right and let me know if you guys actually find your fellow your friends okay so you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you later